driver, the crew chief in the hall. Oh. It already, they already, okay. Well, anyways, uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Stock Car Pro Series here on Speed. And, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of days, you know? And, um, every day I actually kind of wish that there was a MG Cup race because it's so entertaining. But, obviously, I can't upload every day, so, um, Anyways, I don't know what I'm rambling on about, but we're here at Kentucky Speedway for, I believe, the first of two races here this season, and yeah, this should be, I don't know, interesting, maybe, no, I don't know, but we're getting ready to go, so without further ado, Kevin Hamlin, your pole sitter, with Joey Miller to his outside. Here we go. Coming to the line. Green flag is about to fly, and there it is. Green flag is waving. We're racing here from Kentucky. Already, moves being made. Drivers pulling out way out of line there. Three wide already. Kyle Krisimov, last week's winner, was one of the first to go up to the top. Krisimov trying to use some of that momentum from last week to get another victory this week. Three wide down the back straight away. Look at this crazy action through three and four. As we're racing through at such high speeds at such a bumpy track. This is one tough racetrack to get a hold of. Four wide further back. J uh, David Reagan was in the middle of that. But luckily this is a really wide racetrack. So they had some room to sort that out. Now this may be a wide track. But it does get tight pretty quickly I'm actually surprised at how tight it, it tends to get sometimes but Val Wolf in the 97 look at her trying to work her way up one thing I've noticed she starts midfield but tends to try to work her way up to the front mid race so it'll be interesting to see how many spots she can gain here restart on this initial start and starts and restart probably one of the best opportunity oh contact Josh Allison about got turned by Joey Miller in the nine right there here comes Travis Quapple in the 27 behind them oh, more the traffic Was, run, was running in third just a few moments ago. She's kind of falling back a little bit. It's, kind of, it's nice to see her running up towards the front as we're three wide down the front straightaway heading into turn one. Time to get a good flyby going here as we come out of turn two. Look at this. What a view. Absolutely beautiful. As now we fly down the back stretch. Val Wolf working her way up underneath Travis Quapple. Mike Harmon following her through three wide through three and four. Off the turn four and now down the front stretch. Look at this. How about that angle and how about this one? We already got lap traffic coming up. Justin Allgaier looks like. Came out of pit road. It was a little had a little issue. Had to dive down pit road, but now he's back out on the track and about to, about to fall another lap down. He's already one down. Kevin Hamlin, your race leader. Look at Frank Kimmel running second right behind him. Kimmel with a terrible turn two. Gonna lose some time there. Here comes Ken Weaver. Here comes the 67 to Chad Blunt. Here comes Joey Miller. All these guys trying to stay up in the picture. And look at Val Wolf. She's up inside the top 10. That 97 car is flying here today. Man, she is she is on a mission. As she works her way through 1 and 2 once again. Going to try to look underneath the 10. The 10 has a run. Craig Kenser once again in that number 10 car this week. He's got a run on the 23 of Joe Cooksey. Down the back stretch and... Heading into turn three, he's not really going to do anything with it. Cooksey goes all the way down to the bottom. 
try to defend it. But now Kenzer going to look to his inside. Couldn't quite get there off of turn four. Down the front stretch once again. Now here he comes. Whoa. He swings way down to the inside there. Val Wolf going to try to run the middle line there. Trying to get underneath the 23. Can she get there? Can she stay there, I should say? Down the back straight away. Looks like she will. And that's another spot for her to pick off. And she works her way up into the seventh position. And unfortunately, it's that time. You have to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the Pro Series here on Speed. We are starting to spread the field out just a little bit, but just a little, not much. Because look at this. We're still, even though we're spreading out a little, they're all bunched up still. But the top 10 kind of have broken away from the rest of the field, or top 7, I should say, really, have just kind of broken away from the rest of the field. Uh, the top seven all within a second of the leader. And then eighth place, Joe Cooks the almost two seconds back. So that should really say a lot here. Look at Kyle Kristaloff trying to work his way up. Last week's winner. As he goes up in the ninth position, now looking to hunt down the 23 for eighth. Foul Wolf in the 97 will go on board with her as she gets the big run off the of turn two. Now down the back stretch, kind of stalled out a little bit. And down into three and four once again. We've got a huge run to three and four now. What a corner for Valeria Wolf as she pulls to the inside. So Frank Kimmel. And Frank, another veteran driver here. It's been a been around in the racing world for a while knows exactly what he's doing he's gonna have to just let her by because she flew past him there now through three and four 97 ran a wider line and that allowed the 46 to get right back to her inside Brewing here. The 9 to Joey Miller, the 99 to Kevin Hamlin. Going for it. Bow back to the inside of Frank Kimmel. Looking for a top five spot here. She's having a great run here today. Look at Ken Weaver up into the mix as well. And Val Wolf looking maybe for a fourth place. I think she's going for a win here today. She is picking them off left and right. She flies her way through the field. She started outside the top ten. And is now up inside the top five. Looking for more spots making gaining positions look easy here. Looking at the 11 to Chad McCombie. Right behind Norm Benning. He's going to check up a little bit. Here comes Josh Allison to his inside. Christy Passmore right behind them. These two get side by side. That's going to allow the 91 to get a run. Unless one of them backs out. The 64 does back out. Frank Caphammer and the Booty Laser Machine. Andy Belmont going for it here. That's for the 12th spot. Weaver is up in the fifth place. Look at Chad Blunt right in the midst of the battle for the lead. Look at 
looking at the seven chrysalis, the twelve Mario Gospel and battling for the spot back here, and Joe Cooksey has Bobby Gerhardt to us inside. Gerhardt trying to make the pass down on the bottom of the racetrack. Seems like he's gonna make it work. Driver struggling to get the higher lanes to grip up a little bit here so they can't really get a run off of it here. At some racetracks you can't get the high side to work. We saw last season at the end of the season Homestead Miami Speedway with the extra banking added to it. That was a multi-groove racetrack where the high line was really the preferred one because it had progressive banking at that racetrack. starting to fade a little bit. May have used up all our stuff a little bit too early. But Kevin Hamlin still holding a strong lead. We have to take another break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the MG Cup. Uh, ah, not the MG Cup series. Welcome back to the Stock Car Pro Series. Here on speed. Things are starting to wind down a little bit here. But the action still somewhat picking up Ken Weaver has worked his way up into third place now another driver who's climbed through the field and I know you hear my chair squeaking and my mic making noise and all all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the background here I apologize for all that for all this moving around you're hearing hearing me do I just figured I'd get comfortable because I know this is gonna get a, it's gonna get exciting here it's gonna be a good finish a good race. Ken Weaver up into the third spot and not done yet. He's still hungry for more. Up into the draft and trying to get by the nine of Joey Miller. He's going to try to peek to the inside. Couldn't quite get there. Now once again down the back stretch into turn three. Try a different line, couldn't quite get that one to work. Joey Miller. I'm not sure if he's waiting around to make his move or if the 99 is just fast enough to stay right in front of that 9 car. But either way, he's running out of time as the 20 of Ken Weaver is pushing hard trying to get by him. And the, lap, the laps are uh, clicking off pretty quickly here. As we come around 11 laps to go this time, bye. Surprisingly, Every car that started this race is still out on the racetrack right now. Justin Allgaier is two laps down, but he's still in the race. Here comes Ken Weaver. off a of turn four. Can he dive low? No. Stays in line. Not going to try it yet. 
They're gonna give it one more corner. There he goes. He dives down to the inside. He's there. Side by side down the back stretch. This is for a second. And that's allowing Kevin Hamlin to pull away. Chad Blunt gonna go with the 20. No, he's gonna try to make it three wide. He backs out of it. These drivers starting to get a little hungry here. Look who's in the top five now. The 10 of Craig Kenser. He's been riding around back there for a few laps. We just haven't mentioned him. And look who's caught this group. That's the 7 of Kyle Krisiloff. Last week's winner was way past, uh, back there behind all these guys. And now he's going to get past Bobby Gerhardt and gain another spot. Krisiloff. Now up in, inside the top 10. Man, these are some fast race cars here today. Here today. Joe Cooksey to the inside of Val Wolf. Meanwhile, let's check in up front. We got lap cars. Lap traffic here from Kentucky Speedway. Kevin Hamlin all the way down on the apron to try to avoid these guys. Chad Blunt is up in the second. I'm not sure why I was paying attention to the battle for 10th. Because we're missing some good action up front. Blunt up in the P2. And lap cars all over the place. Three wide down the back straightaway. 13 almost got into the 08. Bill Eversole way up the racetrack. Here comes Ken Weaver all over the back bumper of Chad Blunt. Joey Miller stuck behind these slower cars here. He's going to fall back. We're getting down to the end. Chad Blunt and Ken Weaver look like they're trying to work together a little bit and see if they can catch the 99. They did gain a little bit of time on them. Oh no, but the 20 is going to go to the inside. I don't know if he meant to do that or if the 67 just slid up a little bit, but he's going to let them back in line now, but that's going to cost them a little bit of time or will it? It looks like the 67 is actually closing in a little bit. Coming off of turn four, two laps to go this time by. Wow. Man, oh man, things are getting good. And they did gain some ground on that 99 that time by. White flag in the air. One more time around for Kevin Hamlin. Looking for a second win of the season. Second, right? Yeah, second. Oh boy. Things are getting interesting. But it's not going to be enough for Chad Blunt and Ken Weaver. As we come through three and four for the final time. At the line... Kevin Hamlin takes the checkered flag, and he's going to win from Kentucky Speedway. How about that job that Kevin Hamlin did here today? Job well done, I must say, for Kevin Hamlin. As he led that thing for a majority of the laps... But the fastest lap of the, of the day goes to the 67 of Chad Blunt. Val Wolf had the third fastest lap out there. And she demonstrated it as she just absolutely flew. I mean, she tore through the field. 
to work her way up inside the top 10. She's going to bring it home in 8th place here today. Great finish for her. Hopefully a sign of things to come for that team in the future. Mack Motorsports looking to uh, make a name for themselves here in the Pro Series. But yeah, that's going to do it for the race. So let's go ahead and take a look at your points after that. So, that is not what's up next. Hold on. Toledo is next. And let's see. Joey Miller is your points leader by just seven points over Kevin Hamlin. Andy Belmont, he's 61 points behind them. Kyle Kristoloff, 69. Nice points behind them. Chad Blunt, 70. Frank Kimmel, 72. Ken Weaver, 86. Mario Gosselin, 98. Todd Bosher, 105. Mark Gibson, 163. Frank Caphammer and Christy Passamore are 165 points back. JJ Yaley, 181. Craig Kenser, 188. And uh, those are really, I mean, any of these guys at the top 10 or top 20, really can uh, win it we're still early on in the season and you get like 175 points for winning a race so let's not count anybody out yet but just based off of the way these guys seasons have gone so far I'd say anyone within 200 points of the leader really has a shot at winning the championship so Christy Passmore on forward they could if if Christy or Frank Caphammer were to win a race and Joey Miller and the other guys DNF all these guys up here in front of them DNF they could possibly take the points lead or come very close to the links up so that's just how tight it is um, but remember we're only we're only three races in or, or four races in to the season so let's not get our hopes up quite yet but just keeping our eye on the points that's how things are looking right now so yeah that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe hope you guys next time and until then peace